Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, March 16th, 2012. Our top story is awesome news from the world of astrobiology. SETI, working with other organizations, recently launched a website to crowdsource the search for life elsewhere in the universe. SETI, of course, being the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Volunteers will be analyzing radio signals. Now, SETI has algorithms that analyze much of the information. However, some frequencies are so crowded with signals they need some extra help. A previous project by SETI simply had people volunteer their computer's power when they didn't need it. But this endeavor will be dependent upon human participation. Anybody can register. They'll be given about 90 seconds to listen to a bit of signal, then mark off any patterns they recognize. The hope is that, with enough volunteers, they'll be able to pinpoint subtle but consistent patterns, potentially proving the existence of intelligence in the universe. And from the world of physics, a group of Italian and Swedish scientists were able to engineer the transmission of twisted radio waves. With today's telecommunications, such as wireless internet, smartphones, and digital TV, there is an increased demand for radio frequency bands. These new radio waves are long and flat, but spiraled along the axis, like a double helix. Now, twisted electromagnetic waves are not uncommon. Many stars and black holes are constantly spinning about their axis, emitting consequently twisted waves. The radio waves they generated used five angular momentum states, both clockwise and anticlockwise, along with the untwisted waves, meaning one frequency band could economically transmit 11 channels instead of one and this could increase to 55 channels by using multiplexing. In their paper, the Italian and Swedish researchers explain how they successfully transmitted a signal in the 2.4 GHz band from the San Giorgio Maggiore Island in Venice to the less than 500 meter distant Palazzo Ducale, where a satellite dish was located on the balcony. We end in the world of chemistry. Researchers at the University of California, Davis, have begun developing a new kind of solar cell based on silver, particularly growing silver crystals in a fractal-like tree. A fractal is a pattern that repeats over multiple length scales. The primary branches of this silver structure will be one fiftieth the width of a human hair, with smaller and smaller branches coming off of that. This results in a massive amount of surface area and hopefully greater efficiency although exact estimates of efficiency weren't mentioned. Obviously, silver alone won't be able to convert light into electricity. The silver trees are coated with light-absorbing polymers. When photons hit this polymer, they generate electrons, creating an electric potential. They've already begun fabricating these silver tree solar cells, and it'll be interesting to see what applications they find. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description below.